What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Alt Knots. Happy day number four of Halloween. Cheers with a pumpkin spice latte. I have been working through my Nightmare Before Christmas crochet kit, and this is something that's been on the top of my list for Halloween 2022. So far, I have Sally and Oogie Boogie made. Sally, I am so happy with how this came out. The dress is everything. And then I did end up leaving the leg kind of just sewn together so that I can pull this part out and take Oogie Boogie and prop it in his hand as like, you know, just reenacting some of the scenes from Nightmare Before Christmas. I will link down below my making of Sally and Oogie Boogie if you want to check that out. Oogie Boogie does glow in the dark. It's fantastic. It's everything. And I'm so glad with my choices of yarn for Oogie Boogie and also the little glow worm that he has. Brings me so much joy. And I have three more more characters to show you today that I've worked up. Lock, Shock, and Barrel. I know I'm not really going in the correct order of the crochet book here. So this is what the book looks like. And there are 11 different characters plus a wall hanging that you can work up in total. The wall hanging I am saving for the end because I really enjoy doing color work. And that's going to be my grand finale. Like, yay, I made every single character. So excited. And also it's going to hang up in the area that I have all of these characters. This is what the entire kit looks like. It comes with everything that you need in order to make Jack and Sally. Crochet hook right there, the yarn. I have an entire unboxing too. I will also link that down below. This entire kit is from Thunder Bay Press and they have quite a few other different crochet kits. Definitely check it out. Today they have sent me a couple of more activities that are Nightmare Before Christmas themed that they also have on their site. Because if you're like me, once I get going, into my crochet projects, it's very hard for me to stop. Like I specifically need to set an alarm to get up and stretch, get up and move, have a little lunch, refill my coffee. Well, let's be honest. I don't need to have that alarm set because once the coffee is gone, I will definitely get up. Maybe I should have a smaller mug then. I would go through it quicker and then get up and stretch a little more often. Either way, they have sent me some activities to do in between crocheting. All of these are Nightmare Before Christmas themed and we're gonna start with the first one that involves stickers because I am through and through a sticker ghoul. Sticker art puzzle. This is an entire book and it does include glow in the dark, right? Yes, bonus glow in the dark stickers. In the back, it shows you every single picture that you can make with this book. There are, how many are there? 15 puzzles to delight and fright. Which one am I gonna start with? I mean, maybe I should just start from the beginning and go all the way through. And it has this nice little flap. Use it to mark where you're at. This is just the first page that I turned to and it's the mayor. Not only is there a little blurb about it, like from the movie, but there's fun facts to go along with it. And this page is where you place all of the stickers. So once you're done with this, you can 100% pull this out, put a frame around it, and hang it up on the wall. Honestly, that's what I plan on doing with this. Let's find the glow in the dark one though. Okay, Oogie Boogie. There is just something about glow in the dark that is so Halloween. A lot of these fun facts that are popping up, I did not even know, and I've seen the movie so many different times. So it's gonna be fun to go through every single one of them. And it's kind of like reliving the movie again. In total, 1,500 stickers that you have to play around with. And then at the end, you have some decor. That's how I'm gonna use it anyways. Next up, we have something that would be super fun to do in the morning. And it's gonna sit right on my kitchen table, right next to my coffee machine. It is a word search and all of the words are from the movie. It says, have a merry misadventure. Work your way through 83 frightfully delightful word search puzzles. With the three in one book, you'll solve the puzzles. Color creepy characters. I need to invest in some colored pencils for sure. And complete fun fill in the blank dialogue activity. Oh, I did not even put that together. Oh, each one is a full scene from the actual script of Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, All Hail the Pumpkin King. 
just opening the book alone, that's enough to get you right into the Halloween spirit. I'm not even lying when I say I want to take this out and add it onto my wall decor. Like this is so freaking pretty. Flipping to a random one just to check it out. We have someplace new. We have the crossword over here, the fill in the blank, which is super fun to do. And then a coloring page on this side. Yes, coloring page presents obviously jack was obsessed with everything present related i'm thinking orange and black though this page definitely calls for that color combo but 83 that is plenty to get you through the entire month even if you did a couple every single day from here on out you are good to go this last thing is a hundred percent a collectible for anyone who's into nightmare before christmas i'm never putting this away it is the entire story of the tim Burton Nightmare Before Christmas. The purple metallic on the front. I love the color combo. Obviously a big fan of black and purple. Through it, the pictures are freaking stunning. We have Sally, the little witch over here. But yes, it's the entire story. I am definitely gonna be reading this probably the night before Halloween and then also Halloween and maybe the night after, honestly. It really would just help to extend the Halloween spirit. It's what you think of and especially after Halloween, you need a little extra like spooky spirit continuing on throughout the next holidays and this is the best way to do that. Huge shout out thank you again to Thunder Bay Press for sending me all of this. Everything is linked down below if you wanna start your own sticker post puzzles, some crossword, or go ahead and start your own tradition by reading this literally any day. This would totally work, but it'd be a fun thing to start with friends or family to read before and after Halloween. And now I have three more characters to show you to add on to my collection. We're going to start with the first one that I made is Locke. This was so fun to make. Out of all three of them, I think this one went the quickest. And it's just adorable with the tail, the mask. As with all of my characters, I do spend quite a bit of time on the face because I'm not super familiar with doing crochet stuffies. So the face always intimidates me a little bit still, even though I've done a couple of them now, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better. Obviously practice always helps. I ended up making all three of the characters, like all of the pieces, and then did the faces last. Really set up the vibe though. I have to have some positive spooky vibes going in the background so I threw the movie on as I was working on the face just to kind of give me that extra boost of confidence so we have the lock next we have shock this one is adorable <laughs> which anything is super adorable but the hat is ginormous and it has one of those pipe cleaners in there so you can kind of shape it however you want the mask the hair everything together so happy with how this turned out the color that i chose for the mask is a little bit darker than it suggests on here this was more of a light mint color to go more accurately with the movie and when i ordered all my yarn I had to do it based off of just like colors online. I didn't actually see it in person, but I'm still pretty happy with it. Like I feel like I got it pretty close. I'm still happy. So here's the two. And the reason why I decided to do these three instead of like making Jack or Zero or anything else is because I have Oogie Boogie and I felt like Oogie Boogie needed Lock, Shock, and Barrel right away to set that up. Lastly, Barrel and this one hands down took the most time, not because it was difficult, but because it had the most parts to it. I definitely Definitely did the face last. This was at like, I don't know, two or three in the morning. Does look a little bit different, but that's because I didn't do the same colors. Didn't have any lavender. So I just decided to do black embroidery around it and it ends up looking even more terrifying. <laughs> like, I love it, but if you wanna go exactly based on the movie, it is supposed to be lavender, but the mouth is the same. The blue is a little too bright. I think I should have got two different embroidery colors for blue, but this is the one that I also use for the mayor for the eye. And again, it's just what I had. So I'm still pretty happy with it. These were new to me and as is all of the embroidery that is in this entire kit pleasantly happy with how this turned out. It's like called a lazy daisy, I think, or maybe I just made that up. 
Oh, it is. It is. It's called Lazy Daisy Stitch. That is the other thing that's nice about this book is in the beginning, it has a bunch of different stitches and finishing stitches that you're going to be using. To say that I've used this book a lot, I mean, obviously, it's getting loved. I do not embroider. This is something that is entirely new to me. Every single stitch that is introduced in here, I have never done before. Even like the most basic ones. So like the straight stitch, like there we go, straight stitch to go all the way through there. I had no idea how to do that. Very, very thankful that they have this entire section in the beginning. They also have the basic stitches that you're gonna be using for crochet, which I know how to do those, but it's still nice that they're in here. Now we need to show all three of them together because I'm not gonna separate them, obviously. Oogie Boogie's Goons had to be done next. I have to know which one is your favorite. Which one did you watch in the movie and you were like, I could totally have a costume of that one? Mine is probably Locke, just because I love the color combo. I mean, I love all three of them, but if I had to choose one, we're starting to have a nice little collection here of the Nightmare Before Christmas characters. All right, ghouls, that is it for today. I hope that you're enjoying this continual process of gradually making these characters for the Nightmare Before Christmas. I've been having so much fun with it. And if you have also snagged your own kit, let me know down below what has been your favorite one that you've made. So far, it's still been Sally, and it might have something to do with the fact that it was my very first one that I made, and it just turned out, there's nothing that I don't like about it. Maybe my mind will change once I have them all done and set up. I still have zero to put together, which I'm really, really looking forward to. Zero, I'll definitely put Jack together with zero. You know, you have to do it. Anyways, for today, that is it. So one more shout out, thank you to Thunder Bay Press. Make sure that you do go ahead and check some of these out. Grab your own sticker book, crossword puzzle, and also amazing story to read all throughout October. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video.